as we all do, right? As we all do. Yeah, yeah. Such is life, man. And and that's yeah. I think that's one of the biggest lessons in life. Fall down, get yeah. up. Yeah, that. Yep. Yeah, to yep. some extent. Well, let's let us start from the beginning, Thomas. We are here. We are Studio Five Eighty Six B. There you are, currently in Slovakia, right? Yeah, yeah, we moved. So my wife and I were in the UK. We're in Bristol, so like the the home of Banksy and Porter's had a massive attack for uh, like twelve to fifteen years. Mm. And um, but my my wife's a philosophy and history teacher, so she got a job out here. And uh, just with Brexit and you know getting older and wanting a new adventure, we just thought you know now's the time to go somewhere different. So yeah, we've been in Bratislava for like since August basically, um, which is uh. Yeah, it's a cool city, man. There's some amazing sort of modernist architecture and some cool, uh, some, some cool, some some cool like communist history and some like old Habsburg history and like we live we live behind like a 14th century castle oh. and uh, <laughs> it's it's, like, it's pretty cool, man. I'm it's pretty jealous. cool. The language, <laughs> but yeah, you know, well, yeah, you know, there's there's things to be jealous of, and there's there's things that well, you know, back home, you know. So the reality is, grass is always greener over the septic tank. <laughs> Basically, yeah, and and the uh, the algae is always greener in the septic tank. <laughs> right, so, uh, <laughs> right, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we've been here, man. So it's just, but it's just meant that I've like I've had to like I've abandoned. Like, I had a beautiful studio in Bristol. Oh in schoolhouse i had loads of space and loads of place to paint and uh, i've had to i've had to reconfigure a studio in the flat that we're renting which has been a bit of a challenge but um well but especially still, on your scale good, you like large you you do some large scale pieces that's let's take some yeah. space <laughs> yeah, yeah well I, th I think the biggest piece i've done is like six meters by two meters which was uh which <laughs> is pretty big but normally <laughs> I, I normally like I like uh I, I, yeah seventy two inches by sixty inches, which is what like you know, nearly two meters by half. Like right. My my standard thing, just because it's I, I don't know. I just I've always worked big, and I, I just I find it easier to, to tell a story that way. Um, I think it's like, you know the smaller I get, the harder it is. So I, uh, I admire people that do smaller pieces. I guess like I've got a mid range as well that's kind of like a meter by three quarters of a meter. Um, some similar bits, but uh, yeah, generally bigger stuff, man. Generally bigger stuff. Yeah, I, I've heard that in general, though, if you start working on that smaller stuff, you'll carry around a little piece for a decade just trying to get the smile right. You know, <laughs> it's and then yeah, they'll hang it in the Louvre, and everybody will show up and be like, "It's that small." <laughs> yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, Could, can you not make it a little bit bigger? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you painted it on a stamp? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so now that you're there, so if you look back, what are your first memories as a kid? What are like your memories as a kid are are England, right? UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I grew up in um, I grew up in like an old like 17th century converted police station. Um, back in the day, so it's this yeah, it's just, it's, a, it's a weird old place. It was cool and like uh, my my old man collected like uh, just like gramophones memorabilia and, and like but both both my parents were like painted so it's surrounded by sort of pictures of impressionists and sort of uh a cubo futurist pictures and my, my dad my mum's a really good uh watercolor painter really good with colors and things my dad was like a brilliant copyist like we had like a an exact copy of like a, a vermeer picture uh -huh. that he'd done in past and things so, so i grew up around those things you know but um I suppose my first memory is sitting on the kitchen floor of that place, and our cat Rupert walked past. And so, I mean, you got to think, you got to think to a baby, a cat is like a lion, right? It's huge. So I'm like, there's a, there's a photo of me. Oh, I, I don't know where it is. It's, it's somewhere. I think in our loft of me seeing this cat for the first time. And I'm like, my arms and legs are just shot out, and my eyes are pulled open. Like, wow, what is this? this is animal. Over. So actually, Rupert sat on the kitchen floor. That was our cat. Is my first first memory, memory that I can think of. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was. I've been thinking about that. So, oh, I must I... have been about what two or two probably then. Oh, I so you made it so way that's... back. I, yeah, you know what? The the older I get, the longer my mind goes back. I can't remember most of the things I've done before. 
like from the way back <laughs> into the past. I, I can't think. remember. And, and I guess, like, go ahead. No, no. So I, like, I, th I think, like, like for me, like painting is, you know, it, it is that place where I d delve into the past and, and the future at the same time. I think that's where I kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's been quite an eventful life. So that's kind of where I reconnect with all those those memories of those places that. I, I, like I, I never really went back to from, from like in, in my teenage years so it's kind of like that's I think that's why maybe I remember some of those things because uh, like, you've worked like through them in life put them you put them yeah. on, the, on the canvas now in some form I guess yeah 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 I think it's kind of like because you know I've obviously been looking at those questions and thinking about, <laughs> about a lot of those things and really like uh like like, like painting for me uh, like I, I didn't come come to it till, till a bit later in life. I was, uh, I was sort of studying in the states. Um, I was doing American history and culture and what have you in uh, like Cal State Fullerton. Okay. And, uh, and I, that, that was my that was my year abroad, man, and that was my direction in life. And then uh, so I got there August, and then like October time, I, I got back to my apartment. Uh, there was this lady just sat in her apartment to tell me tell me that my dad had uh, it committed suicide, basically. That, that was, so, so I never, I never, I never went back to that family home other than to clear it out. Right. But actually, but clearing it out, I found like his, my mum's paint brushes, and then I started, I started just messing around with them, you know, doing sort mm. of pictures from Newsweek and the Economist and and the political stuff that I, I kind of, I, I was kind of studying at the time, um, just as like a little, you no, know, I don't know, it, it had no real purpose, but it was just like a little doodle and therapy session, and then. And, and then so it's become that connection to that that time that was kind of lost and those goodbyes that never really got said and and then this yeah so yeah. it's it's like a weird uh, yeah whirlwind of all those kind of things and so so when I paint that there is well it's there all the time but there's always been that that connection and that's kind of you know I'm like 42 now so it's kind of like I was 21 then so it's like I've had these two two different lives in a sense which right. is interesting i think you know i, I think that i think it is interesting. i i've recently turned 50 and i i feel like i'm moving into my third trimester okay <laughs> it's 70, yeah, no, no, it makes 75 sense. i'll yeah. be ready for birth um, <laughs> <laughs> or at least Jeez, for but... some young never mind <laughs> no um it's, it could get messy it could get right. messy. It could it's, get pretty, messy. <laughs> it's pretty interesting that you said that um painting is kind of like kind of takes you into the past and the future at the same time. Uh, it's interesting you said that because I, I kind of feel that when I make music because D. I have to I have to put myself in that moment and I have to remember how I felt in that moment in order to accurately capture like the the feelings and the the mm. the goings on of whatever whatever the moment is that I'm trying to capture or or even yeah. if it's me talking about the future or whatever it's it it, it has to be accurate almost it has to be accurate and it it gives me a better a better understanding of my past and mm. sometimes it gives me clarity for the future um yeah yeah, yeah I don't I don't know like if you that. feel that as well but. Yeah, guys, it's it's like a tug of war between the past and the future, I guess. Mm. Um, and I've been trying to um spend a bit more time in the present. Uh, right. I, I don't. I don't, find <laughs> that, I don't. I don't find that necessarily easy thing to do. To be honest, um, I think but, it's a muscle. Um, I, yeah, I think it's like any other muscle, and it's like it's like strengthening it. Like that, the more you work at trying to be present in the moment, it just kind of becomes routine. But it takes it's like people go, Oh yeah, just need to be in the moment and it's not like a yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's not a, it's not a switch, is it? You <laughs> no, know, no. no. <laughs> it's it, it's very much like going to the gym. <laughs> you gotta be in the moment, man. Well tell me where's this button that you found, okay? Because I don't know. Yeah. The magic button. Yeah. So yeah. Go ahead. So like yeah, yeah, like yeah, no, it's just like I'm intrigued about the music and, and both your creative processes. They Ooh. they kind of a no, lot I mean, of the what, direction what this came from was the fact that I realized my perspective, the thing I used the most for trying to define my reality was a liar. That your, your perspective will try to make your brain happy over try to tell you the truth. 
no, I, I, I misremember a lot of things from my past just because my brain likes to lie to me. Well, it, and so for me, it was once I realized that I wanted to see through everybody else's eyes mm. and artists, you know, guys like you, both of you, you know, they bring, they're willing to show that to me without me having to dig. They're wearing their heart on their sleeve, their canvas, their vinyl, their, but you know what I mean? So yeah. I, I find it so uplifting to be around people creating. Oh, I did it again. And, and, and is that, is that kind of like the setup of your folks kind of studio out there? Is that kind of like, is there a, is that kind of the, so the whole, yeah, I, I, yeah, what? What's, our what's whole our yeah. whole spiel is basically we want to make noise and be heard and that means whatever form of expression you want to want to express or whatever whatever form of expression you take whether it's singing or it's uh painting or it's uh i don't know video games you know we want we want to make sure that people are heard and we want to make sure that people get their voices out there because there's too many people that go unseen. There's too many amazing, amazingly beautiful people that just don't get out there just because they don't have the resources or they don't have the people around them to support them. They don't have the things that they need. And we're always looking to help people. We, we, we really want to help people get their voices out there. Yeah, well, and this is, okay, the, the, fi the B in 586, is um what? it's my basement 586 okay. is my address <laughs> <laughs> and it's a studio <laughs> and it's a studio okay. so that and now don't get me wrong we got a big uh so this started as a thing we were working on last year uh ross and i met and we began working through this um he moved in because it was he needed a place to stay my wife and my grandson said that's okay he's a nice guy he could that sounds good um and it began to dawn on us what we wanted more than anything else beyond telling stories was we wanted to hear stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like create a space where people <clears throat> could exist as who they were and share that. Yeah. In the hopes that other people, I honestly think what's a lot of what's wrong with the world is we're all wearing friggin' masks. We don't even see each other. You know, everybody's kind of a, there's a, there's a fake thing going on out there a lot. And not because people yeah. are trying to be fake, but because they're paid, afraid somebody's going to judge them. That you know what? If I it, did. I did this. Uh, it, no, it makes me think of it. I did this here. I think the last actually solo show I did before COVID was called uh, "People Who Live Their Heads in Boxes," and you get like, <clears throat> and so kind of like you know, a lot of people are afraid to look you in the eye. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm alright looking somebody in the eye. I don't mind, but um, I, I don't know whether it's like. Uh, British thing or a social media thing or a, I don't know, fear factor kind of thing, wherever. But like, I see people walking around really linked to, um, yeah, to a lot of things. You're not afraid. You're not afraid. Yeah, no, absolutely. Which, we yeah. see that yeah. on which, this which, side which, of which the I can't blame too. someone. Well, yeah, yeah, I I often link it to the 24 hour news cycle though. That we're old enough to have like I swear I've seen a change since we added CNN. We played it's all Ted, Tur Ted Turner's fault. No, um, <laughs> the, but the, you have to have news and people don't want to watch something boring. And so uh, like in the States, our crime rate, though, it's back on the rise now, was at one point more than cut in half. But people want to hide their kids inside because they're worried something bad's going to happen because they watch the news. Even yeah. even though I, I played on the streets when it was, you know, <laughs> a much higher crime rate. <laughs> Well, I'm, you know, that's the thing, like, growing up, like, I had a wicked childhood, man, just out on my BMX all the time, and mates, like, no, right. it like, gave two hoots, yeah, it was like, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, pretty, there was some danger there, but it wasn't, like, that dangerous, you know, you live in fear, or you can, sort of, or you can live, interact it, can't you, yeah, you can live, yeah, yeah, so, so uh, you work hard, you're, how do you play? How do I play? That's very good. I, I, I'm, I'm quite a man of extremes. Uh, 
I mean, they're like super active doing stuff for like I could sleep forever, to be honest. <laughs> um, but you know, I, like ever since I was um ever since I was a kid, like I've done a lot of cross country running. So I love running in the rain. Like it's one of my favorite things. Um, I like running thunderstorms and like any bad God, weather. I love a good thunderstorm. Uh, um, I, I love, mate, I love, um, I love dancing. Like I love Aphex Twin. I love Underworld. I love Orbit. Nice. I love like, like the dirty dance music and go and dance with my mates. That's, I, and I, th- I think, that, I think that feeds into my work as well. Um, there's a certain energy to that. Um, so that's kind of my play. And then like my wife and I, Leanne, like we met dancing actually, oh, wow. uh, back in the day. Yeah. So we met at a dance festival and, uh, like, 15 years so you know we you know we, we just hang out and we, we always have a laugh basically so uh, yeah she's meaning my, a life uh, obviously. yeah 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 so you know those those they'd be my play i guess you know i did used to play soccer but the old knees aren't what they used to be um, right that's it you know yeah, amen yeah, just... yeah my old knees <laughs> <laughs> those, those creaky old knees man those creaky old knees oh, dude, yeah, I, anyway. I had them put four but... screws in my back two years ago too so I, 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 yeah oh. I, I can point at the piece yeah. of wood in the backyard i i can show you which one <laughs> i lifted up that day that you know and then i then i moved seven bags of cement after that which probably didn't help <laughs> just as well you had the screws in the back right that right, otherwise, right. Yeah, exactly. otherwise you might have been in serious trouble but, so uh, yeah how do you uh th- this is one of those questions that people either get immediately or fight with but how do you pray I, and that could mean anything i i am not i don't belong to some anything in particular no, myself yeah totally totally um i you know uh, like on a personal note like i don't actually think like, i'm in some ways quite envious of organized religion so i've got you know i've got quite a few friends that are christian or muslim and the collective uh mm. you know move to prayer and that thing and the community behind it i think is uh is the important thing um yeah. like we lived we lived on, on this street uh it's called like smarts road in eastern bristol and it's got like there's a church opposite a mosque opposite a pub uh, next to the train it's like it's got like like every every walk of life is there you know and obviously you know with um britain's colonial history you've got you know you've got a big pakistan indian community you've got mm, a big yeah. west indian community uh you've got quite a big east european community um you know so and, and everyone everyone mixes in together you know and uh that's that's a that's a really beautiful thing um and like for Ramadan, like ev- like they'd close the street and everyone would sit on the street and share food together stories and chat and uh and i think that's the beauty of um of that closeness of 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 just people working together from different communities um personally like i i love i love the architecture and the space of a church i don't have a a community or or, or particular denomination per se um i do you know, have the odd, the odd, the odd word with uh, the the forces that are above us. Um, right. But that's, that's 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 normally when I'm painting. You know, like it's normally that's my that's my place of worship in in front of the canvas. Um, and I, I that that's where I find inspiration. And I I suppose it's it's more of a uh, a, a faith than a, than a belief rather yeah. than a kind of a necessarily believing in anything particular. You know, well, religious wise. And I have um, I have a tiny little lady that in Vietnam that teaches this class I go to in Vietnam by Zoom, of course. But um and all she every time she brings up med- meditation is non distraction. Meditation is like there's no more to it. Don't like and I I would bet that your paintings absorb you. That it, it is a non distraction moment of losing yourself in that ebb on the good days i've also fought with my pen on the days the ink was obviously too full of thoughts but <laughs> is yeah, that it can be I, th- I, th- I think i was reading something about uh, francis bacon like who, who love you know love his work um and he was just sort of talking or, or there's a snip an extract from something he'd said that you know necessarily he doesn't really live for he, he didn't live the fame he didn't really live for anything he, he lived for that moment of inspiration when mm. he was painting something and and something just came together like that 
and, it, and he was like, and it, and it didn't. Well, he's probably been very modest because I think it did happen to him quite a lot. Uh, but it's <laughs> right, like, yeah, yeah. It, it, it didn't, it didn't happen out, very often. He put out a couple paintings, yeah. <laughs> he, he did the odd thing that was all yeah, right. right. Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I think that's that's the moment that you just like, okay, you might get it for like, you might get it. For, you might get it for a whole painting. You might get it for an hour. You might get it for ten minutes, and you just have this almost uncontrollable sense that you, like everything you're doing is just falling into place. I'll and say that's like that's like a magical feeling. Yeah, I'll say that that moment of pure creativity feels better than anything I've ever experienced in my life. Like where yeah. you're just, you're everything feels like it's it's coming out right. It's just yeah, yeah. You're yeah, yeah. you're expressing whatever you, whatever it is you feel like you need to express in that moment, and it's just coming out perfectly. Yeah, yeah. I I find it so interesting that the three of us are expressing pretty much identical. Like I'm I'm letting you guys express and what's going through my head actually is right. that I have that I yeah you've had but, that but for me right. it'll it'll be there'll be a page that just flows. Mm. You know you'll or a blog or, or or I'll I'll be doing graphic design. Do you ever get that with talking to people? Yeah. No, I I very much do. That I'm very present in the moment with this process. It means right. it's a very personal thing to me. It's it feels like I'm reaching out and you know, feeling energy and going, "Hey, no, we're connected." Right. And this world is connected and but that I very much yeah, there are moments where it's it's just happening as opposed to I feel like I'm in control of it. You yeah, know, like I, yeah, that's it. That's yeah, it, yeah, it's like okay, I don't know how. A lot of times I end up looking at people and they're going, "Oh, that was so wise." And I'm like, "No, I just heard what you guys said and repeated it back to you." And I know that you're thinking that what I said was this really wise thing, but no, I just had the words to hear you guys, right. and I'm translating. I'm right. not. This is not me. This is I'm just a mirror over here, you know, giving you back what you guys are giving me. Anytime I've ever attempted to say something wise, it was me trying my best to reflect back whatever I just heard mm. in a way that in a way that is different, but still the same gist, you know? Right. Through your through your yeah, eyes. Yeah, through my eyes. It and and when you do that and it and it hits the right way, it's like, boom, I got it. <laughs> like it's like it's a moment and it, it feels really good it, 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 there's i think being in touch with who you are as an artist is part of being in touch with who you are as a human mm. that we are creative we are creators and, and not tied into right you know all of that but i think well, and, and then also part of that process, so to interrupt, I think. No, is, you're great. It's really it's trying to find out who you are. Mm. That's like yeah, that's half the struggle. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what what I am, you know. Um, and uh, painting, uh, you know, allows me to confront myself, the mm. good bits and the bad bits. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, I get it. You know, that, I get it. That's why, kind of why I do it. So. Yeah. Well, that it's like a tool we all need. Mm. That I, I, yeah, you know, some way yeah. to work it out, some way to channel express it. it. Yeah, channel yeah. it. Yeah, because I, I, I think, <laughs> I think the anxiety of the world is we're all desperate to be seen and all afraid we're going to be seen. You know, like it's. You know what? I want somebody to see me for the real things I go through and accept, you know, that I'm a human and I struggle with stuff. But at the same time, yep. like, well, but what if I show them too much and they judge all that? Yep. You know, yep. and I think that's where it's that unrealness at battle inside of us that become. Interesting. This, yeah, this global morass. You know, even. <laughs> even well, even the, even the guys that you look at and go, well, God, he's a an asshole you know guys that look like winnie the pooh or trying to be czars or something like that you know not to name any names uh -huh. <laughs> but <laughs> no no yeah not at all yeah not no, at all. No, 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 no. Heaven forbid. i mean you wouldn't know who i was talking about i said emperor pooping right <laughs> i'd have no idea but particularly <laughs> particularly slovakia is on the border of ukraine i'd have no idea oh, right. so, yeah. it's it's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. 
but I see those that as much there's a part of me that also goes, wow, those are some damaged human beings. Part of me wants to know what it is that twisted that psyche like that. But yep. you know what I mean? That, that, that I, I watched our orange friend here and it was very much, I felt kind of sorry for him on the regular. Like I was like, wait a minute, you're fighting with people you shouldn't be fighting with. He would get into, yep. you know, he'd get into Twitter wars with like, dude, you're our president. You should just ignore that one. He'd get in Twitter wars with SNL, bro. Yeah, he'd get in, in, in Twitter wars with SNL cast members, you know, Saturday Night Live cast members, and you're like, really? They've been, yeah, yeah, they've yeah. been making fun of politicians for years. You'd be better off just not saying that's, anything. That's, that's their job. Like, yeah, that's, right. That's that is their, their job. job. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, mate, mate, sorry, can you give me 30 seconds? Oh, absolutely. You are absolutely yeah, good. Give, give, I will take a sip myself of some grape. <laughs> Through my first calendar. Thanks. I thought that that was the question we. Yeah. yeah. Had to ask. I had forty-five minutes down for a couple weeks. (laughs) (laughs) We're doing good on time, I think. To get you out of here by one. (laughs) Have you down? Like I didn't even see you. Right. Well, no, she'll, she 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 don't understand. I don't see. The, yeah. I I'll see. I'll see. She she's got a problem with walking. Sorry about sometimes. that. Oh, you're you're well, good, man. We were discussing the fact that I need to get, get Ross off the air by one thirty because his mom's gonna bring him a bite to eat. <laughs> well, what, what what time is it there then? What time? No, is it there? no, no, no. Twenty seven. Twelve thirty. No, yeah, no, we're early. Yeah, we're early. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're old. Like, Prime part. How is it out there? Is it not nice weather today? You got it. It's all going yeah, on? it really is. I haven't been outside for real, but it looks nice outside. I think it's supposed to get up to yeah. like ninety Fahrenheit though. Jeez. I mean, well, it, it, it gets humid there where you are, right? Uh, you know, it's not too. It's, it's not, not it's awful. Not that bad. We're, we're uh we're the Midwest. We're up a little north. Yeah. So okay. uh, the worst part of where we're at is that we're dead in the slush belt in the winter. Yeah, so pretty much we we can get we can get oh, yeah. rain, sun, and hail all in the same week, and and a little bit of snow to top it off yeah. after it turns to ice. Just you exactly, know, just enough to just. We make can it. get all of the weather in one week. Yeah. Oh, in a day. In a day. <laughs> I, I've, we probably, actually, yeah, I've seen that happen a couple times. Yeah. yeah, you'll see it because we're right on where the jet stream. It kind of like moves. Oh, yeah, it'll right. move up above us, and then it'll move down below us, and as the and then sometimes moving, it'll hit. Um, you're, in, you're in Ohio, right? Yeah, I'm in Ohio. We're yeah, in Ohio. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Yeah, Ross is okay. yes. Yeah. Where he's here. Right? <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> I'm in California. Surprise. <laughs> we do. We have an office phone number that's a San Francisco number, but really it's just that Google Voice will let you set it in whatever city you friggin' want. It was funny. What do you What do you love in this world, good sir? What do I love? I love, I was thinking about, well, obviously I love my wife. Um, I love our, our tortoiseshell cat, Pepsi. There he is. Australia is the streets and now is uh, at the corner of uh, Bratislava. I love the smell. Of, I love the, the smell of yellow roses. Um, mm, they remind ooh. me of my grandparents. I grew, yeah, they remind me of my childhood. I love the smell of cat grass. And I love, as I mentioned earlier, I love running in the rain. Sensory. And I love painting. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, but yeah, I'm sensory. I am sensory. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. And I didn't, it's kind of funny, because I didn't, re- like, this is where there are some divides. On, uh, like, so some people will, back when we're going, um, what do you remember? I had a, a young lady that was like, it's all sensory. Every, all of her memories were attached to a smell. <laughs> and, and, and I, I i was thinking of the smell of cut grass oh my god then i was thinking you know jogging in a thunderstorm after the grass had been cut so let's get it all going <laughs> <laughs> That's good. right That's good, man. there's something about the smell of life happening you guys love them well, not, not... i was gonna say do you guys love a good misty morning i love a good misty morning like where it's just <laughs> um i you know what? If the misty morning's like half eleven, eleven thirty, 
I'm all right with it, but the mist has probably burnt off by then. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, to, to be honest, poor yeah. man lived in the United Kingdom. He's done with fog and rain. He's, he's, more, he's more, like, mornings, morning. You know I'll, I'll tell you, you, you say you get four weather systems, and, and obviously you've got big weather where you are. But like where, like Bristol, like you get. I mean, it, it's rain and sun like every other hour. <laughs> it's a rotation. <laughs> rotation. Yeah, it's just a road. Yeah, a bit of rain here. Oh, I got wet again. Like a misty morning is a be- It is a beautiful thing. How many of them have, the, have I seen? Probably not. To be honest. Okay. But, um, You're but actually, foggy and misty. Like, uh, we, foggy is what I was nor- thinking more so. Oh, maybe. Normally, our um, our our, uh, our summer holidays, and we go cycling to France. Oh. Which is which is magical. And, uh, that there was there was once where we were up at about half five because we had a we had a good hundred miles to do day, and we were staying in the middle of a vineyard and it was misty there and just Ooh. lifted, but all yeah. the vines, birds were singing, and then the sun comes up and it's thirty degrees by lunch. That um, sounds which is, magical. Which so, is something magical, man. Yeah. yeah. I my so memories go, are yeah. I get up early in the summer. So when I think of misty and kind of foggy, there'd be like a light fog. You know, we're, yeah. I'm in a suburb outside of uh, Columbus. Back in the day, by the house I lived in, you could just go straight out this road. There were horse farms. And so I'd get on my bike and you know, go out about 6 o'clock in the morning. when there was just, you know, it was that perfect. And there'd be horses that would line up to see you. It, you know, they were bored. <laughs> and it, I don't know. It, there was something about that get out there early morning and there's a stillness and there's no one else out there just just yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I could picture the vineyard and i'm picturing the fields and i'm right? like oh my god yeah yeah oh, man the vineyard yeah and there's some, like you go through front you go through these funny little villages and things and like there, there was what there was one moment where all these cows just ran along beside us and then you and then, then you get rained on and then it then the sun comes out and you stop for lunch and you have some snails and a glass of wine and you know oh. and then you, you on your way. right it's not, yeah oh, it's great it's great yeah yeah yeah. europe, europe is that's kind of partly why we left sort of the uk as well because of brexit and all that nonsense. that you wanted to be able to do it You're like still well, well we want to be back in europe you know we're european there's the strength in um the community of nations you know and, oh. and that's kind of part of our part of our thought back out here we can definitely see that going on, you know. The, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Being a member is probably a good thing right now. Just... Yeah. Well, you know, like we we moved to Slovakia, and because uh, my my wife's got an Irish passport, um, and and like so, Slovakia was like, well, no, you can only I can only stay for ninety days because I've got an passport. You got to um, rotate. Well, we well no, we we just but we brought our marriage for we were going to get married this year, but we got married last year instead. But um, yeah, it's just all the like the just remarkably oh. short sighted. Anyway, it's not very yeah. interesting. <laughs> it's rubbish, but yeah, not very short sighted. It's rubbish. Not yeah, very it's short. Rubbish. It's very. It's one of those. <laughs> social, one, yeah. Rubbish. So what is well, but now we're gonna go to what do you fear? So we might as well have just stayed on Brexit. <laughs> yeah, we could have done. We could have done. <laughs> we're there. Well, yeah, we've already done it. Yeah, we've done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, move on, move on, move on, move on, move on, move on. I'm, I'm not. I'm terrible with heights. To be honest, absolutely mm-hmm. awful with heights. And um, yeah, but I, I, I tried to confront those things. Um, yeah, me too. I did. I, I did actually. Like we were in Vegas once, and uh, I've been a bit of an idiot. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, uh, not not to say anything else, but and, and so to sort of make it up. I sort of said, "Yeah, no, I can't let go to the gratis. Like we sweet Lord above, uh, going on that on the on the top of the stratosphere, off off the top of that building. That was probably one of the times I've been the most afraid. <laughs> but, it, it hits you. Uh, oh, that... mate, it was all. Yeah, what, what, why would you invent a claw that goes over the edge of a building and spins around? It, it, it don't make any sense. Uh, but w- once it started, I loved it. But uh, yeah, but the, the actual process of that was uh, pretty. Uh, yeah, it's it's the anxiety coming up to it. It's like once it's happening, oh, I can deal with it. But it's like, uh, you yeah, sure? Yeah. Mine was spiders. I I got bit What's by a, a poisonous spider when I was about eleven, 
like oh, swell up awesome. the leg got me really good it, yeah. it, there's only one in ohio that can get you even <laughs> I, I found well, so is that like is that like a white widow or a black widow <laughs> this brown recluse okay a brown recluse very similar has the violin on the back tiny they their name is because you know what they like to eat insects and they really don't want to mess with humans but if <laughs> you piss them off if you mess with it it's like a horribly necrotic bite that you know what it's so I had a fear of spiders. Anyways, so as soon as I moved out of my parents' house, I went and got a tarantula. <laughs> you know, well, I might I might right? You, I, I knew that. You, know, oh yeah, yeah. No, I went off stratosphere. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you you confront your fears, don't you? If you, yeah. You know, I, I, you know, I, not not saying I'm not going to climb Everest. I mean, just be uh, climbing Everest <laughs> with a tarantula, with a tarantula. That'd just be absurd. But... In my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> But, but but to a degree you have to yeah so well well well, well done for you for doing that mate that's, I, that's, I that's think that's there's a real I think heroism isn't not having fear it's facing it so that yeah. I think of as an active part of how you deal with not living in fear of things is going you know I see other people doing that I'm not sure that could possibly be as scary as I'm making out in my head let's see if I yeah. can <laughs> either break myself or fix Some that <laughs> yeah. yeah what do you think you know. <laughs> So all of all of these years of wisdom and traveling and what do you attach to? Oh, that you think you might man, be aware I, of or I, know? I, 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 I know I know nothing. I know very little. <laughs> no, I, I I know that if I don't run or paint, then I'm a horrible person to be around. That's about the limit. To be honest, like that, <laughs> that, that 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 there are certain things that I need to do that just keep my um psyche in check so so they're yeah. those things uh and yeah I, oh, you know what it's you know get, getting older has been a weird thing man i mean i still like yeah it's oh, i don't know the, the, the world seems to shift around me um more than i shift around it now uh, yeah and it brings a lot of uncertainty into life actually i don't really oh, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out that that the right direction but maybe there's not a direction i don't I don't know so i don't know how much i know really i know that i love uh cricket and uh and a nice summer's day and a seafood platter by the sea with a glass of white wine uh which is very nice uh but other than that i think i'm there to be um educated about a lot of things to be honest because the things that i thought i knew i don't think i know them as well as i did yeah isn't that the <laughs> weirdest thing the older you get you get about every five to ten years you look back and go oh what an idiot <laughs> yeah, what, what, the hell was I, what the hell was i doing why didn't i do that oh no yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah but that's you know i you know I, I guess you know i know that i'm lucky enough to still be around you know, to, yeah to be kind of going on and i i know i'm lucky to have lived the life that i've lived so right, it got me here you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah i i kind of there was a moment a little bit older than you, but there was a moment right before I turned 50 where I looked back and it all just kind of fell into place and I wasn't pissed about it anymore. I was like, oh, yeah. oh, I was at school. <laughs> I get it now. Oh, I see yeah. why that happened over and over again. That was me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, so, so what do you, what do you wish you knew? What do I wish on you? Oh man, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know about that, to be honest. I, I wish I could. Um, uh, I, I wish I was more fluent in more languages, to be honest. Yeah, I, me I think too. that'd be a wonderful thing to travel. Um, and I, I know a bit of French and I know a bit of Slovak, uh, but I'm not, you know, I'm not that um, diverse in those terms. What else do I wish I knew? I'd... I'm still working you on that, I guess. Wish yeah. you... On a star. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's never gonna come true. <laughs> right? It's never, it's yeah. never gonna yeah, if you wish on a star, it's never gonna come true, but if you do loads of hard work, it probably might. Well, so, it, yeah. I have a theory even on wishes that if you yeah. focus your energy in a direction and then work on it, <laughs> like if what it does is it it uh cements your idea that that's something you're going towards, even a wish yeah. on a star can work. But it's still yeah. going to need a lot of you involved. The star yeah. isn't going to really be doing the heavy lifting. Well, it does. It do yeah, totally, totally. It goes to like um, I th I think like I don't know about in the states, but over particularly in the UK, like the word genius started getting used 
all the time. Everywhere. Oh, that's that's genius. And it's like, well, it's not like. <laughs> it's <laughs> not. I think. I mean, I think like like ge- genius does exist. Like Einstein, you know, Mozart, right. Aphex Twin. There's some moments of genius there, but a lot of people are like, well, they had a good idea and then they work really hard at it. That's, that's genius. Totally different. That's a different thing. That's not uh, genius. Right. It is a different um, and thing. And so I'm like, like, I kind of struggle with that, you know, because so, someone, someone else said that to me before. I'm like, no, I like, I'm really not a genius. You didn't see, like, the really awful pictures I did when I started out. Uh, I do some good stuff now, but it's taken, <laughs> like, it takes a minute. It's taken, it's taken 20 years of like, 20, 25 to 30 hours a week to even get, and only now I feel like I know what I'm doing. Like it's 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 taken two decades to really get to know what I think I know what I'm doing. So yeah. Anyway, so the wishing was... on the star is <laughs> it's hard work. Yeah. The, anyway. the, the focus. Yeah. I wish for focus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Focus. Yeah, wish for focus. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Totally. totally. The, <laughs> you know, it was the funniest. So my brother's five years older than I am, and right. so I always I didn't. I kind of got away from art for a while because he was a, such a better artist and it didn't it wasn't until you realize years later that yes because he'd been doing it five years longer than you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you know that and it's amazing now now i've got a grandson who's nine and he i got home from work one day and this is a couple years ago and he's nine now so he must have been about seven and he goes well i i decided i wanted to learn how to draw so i've i've been on youtube I was like, oh, okay. He brings in this beautiful drawing of the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> what? And he goes, well, I had to do it. A co- I had to try a few times. That I had to watch the video more than once to get it right, Papal. And I said, so you just started this today. <laughs> yeah. And he, it's really good. He, well, the, he has this, it's these kids, you watch these kids now, and they go, oh, I want to know how to do that. And they, and they, they figure know, it out. Well, and they know where to go. You go yeah. Why would I not know how to do that? There's, I have this this thing over here that I go, hey, I want to know how to do that, and it tells me. That's cool, man. That's great. I, that yeah. I started How's... him early on with the idea, and a lot of trust, but started him early on with, see this button here? This is a microphone button. You can ask mm-hmm. this anything you want. With with some blocks on it. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He came to me one day and he goes, you know, Papa, Google really doesn't know much about God. I asked. And I was like, that's freaking brilliant. I love it. It's like. <laughs> yeah, the, the truth is out with Google on God. Yeah. Right, right, right. But at least, but he knew that. And he came to me and he's like, so maybe we should talk about that more. You know, it was this that's moment. Cool, man. Of, yeah, it's uh, opens, open some doors. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we yeah, could like that. That's we cool. could teach our kids to excel at the things they excel at. They like if we let them go at their speed in their thing. Don't be wrong; you got to work through the rest of it. But yeah. I've I've often thought we are a lot of our education system is based on how much time did you serve instead of well, how much did you learn. It's about how much how much time did you put into doing the work, and it's not it's not so much about what you actually learned. Well, yeah, and it's on top of it all, even the teaching is in general to this is what you should know instead of this is how you learn. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, it was, it was interesting because, I, like I say, I did I went to Cal State Fullerton just like a gap year. And like right. The, the, different, the, the difference with how you learn in Britain and how you learn in the States, like, it, it is quite different, actually. Like, really? It, it, well, at, at that point, obviously, I don't know, like, in the sort of, like, the like the you know high school or whatever, but definitely definitely university level. Cause like it, it, even there, like there was like you know it was very knowledge based, and like some of the tests were still like multiple question, which you just wouldn't get in the UK. It's all it's all um, basically assignments and essays, like and your yeah. your your opinion. So you kind of kind of you know, you're meant to be like tailoring your own opinion well, based well, on learning the, Socratic the method. Right? You know, yeah. learning to yeah. stand learning up for your point. how to argue and stand up for why yeah. you're right. I think every child should yeah. have to take a debate class and have to learn how to argue yeah. both sides of a, a – that there was nothing worse than the way debate – you know, the, the way we did debate class, and I had a great debate teacher, and that it was 
you you had to walk in. The two teams were prepared to argue both sides, and then you'd flip a coin yeah. and find out which one you had to argue. And yeah, and so yeah. it, it very much puts you in that you needed to see perspectives, you know. And well, I think that's what's interesting, you know, in in the politics in in the US in 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 the UK and in a lot of countries, you know, you have yeah. that, um, people people aren't people don't really listen to the other argument anymore. Like, whereas actually, like, debate and right. you know, reasoning is just an important part of figuring out what is right and wrong, you know, to do. But people are just closed off. They're just like, no, I'm, I'm of this opinion. That's what I believe in. I'm not even going to listen to the other side. Well, you know? And that's on both. And that's on yeah, the left. On and both right, sides. You know, on both sides, like, both living sides. in a vacuum and going, oh, see, everybody agrees with me. It's both like, sides are shut down. And yeah. it's... it's it's sad to see because it there's so much opportunity for good conversations to be had because of yeah. difference yeah. in opinion, but that's completely out of the question just because of the fact that people don't want to disagree. They don't want no. to. They don't want to dive deep into. Okay, I I believe this. Why do you believe this? Yeah. Why do you actually believe? Like like like, what's your real reasoning? And just going yeah. deep into that and having that conversation is very deep than, well, I believe this. Well, I believe this. Well, I believe this. It's yeah, like, it's not, it's, a it's, too, it's not a conversation. It's just expressing what you believe. It's not, you're not diving deep into what the other person is actually thinking. You're not actually thinking about it. And that's, I, I really honestly believe that's kind of part of what I'm trying to do, sort of, I guess. That in my head, there needs to be people seeing each other as people and then having a rich discourse. Yep. You know, there, there very much has to be a, a, a turning of the tides, if you will, where people go, oh, I, I, I honestly think that the devaluation of human life is actually a huge global self-esteem issue. That it isn't, right. we don't value other people, it's we don't value ourselves. That we feel trapped, we feel, and I don't mean, it's a broad we, you know, I mean, I know lots of happy people too, but there's a feeling, there's an anxiousness to the globe right now for a variety of reasons. And it just, yeah. how do you get past it? So, well, every, everything's in flux, sorry to interrupt you. Oh, no, no, like, you're Everything's perfect. in flux, isn't it? Everything's, you know, the future's, it's very uncertain, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh. Yeah, anyway, anyway. Well, sorry, I, you, you, it's, no, no, you're perfect. I, I, I have felt lately like it's like we're on the cusp that, you know what, okay, do we, you know, basically repeat the last century or do we do it different? You know, do we, do we kind of, you know, and not that history, that, you know, definitively or literally repeats itself, but you can see patterns. <laughs> well, it moves, history moves in cycles doesn't it you yeah know, yeah you get, like, it, generally like three generations where you kind of like okay the you the, the next the one generation does something and then the next generation still remembers that so i think don't it, do it third generation doesn't do it as much and then it happens again <laughs> and I think in, it's, a context, I, in a different context but the yep. same kind of uh, effect I think. I think the phrase goes hard times make strong men strong men make easy times easy times makes Weak men, weak men make hard times. Ooh, okay. Give that, give that to so me one more. Basic, so let's see if you can get so it out of your mouth one more time. Strong, strong. Wait, hard times makes. Okay, hold on. Hard times makes strong men. Strong. Okay, he's connected. Is he? Is he good? He's connecting. He we lost the connection there at the last minute. Ah, uh, dang it! I said something nice. <laughs> do 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 do. do. I think oh man oh i is that a until next time you know what i'm gonna try one more time oh i think it might be official oh we lost the connection Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, that was an I awesome think, conversation. I think we though. lost him. Yeah. Wow. What an amazing, you know, Thomas Dowdswell. I, I can't wait to speak more. Hey, brother, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it and how much I can't wait to do more of this. I'll let you get away for today, dot, dot, dot. But we got to get you back because I could talk for hours. Thank you again so much. Thomas Dowdswell, folks. Yeah. Uh, you know, I please, Thomas William Dowdswell, look up his art. We're going to post some stuff up later. Um, Ta-da. What an amazing time. I, I, What an amazing day. We're more than halfway through. Those of you wondering, music coming. Yes. It is. It, it really is. You know what? The music. Music is coming. Coming. <laughs>